Hello everyone, I hope that you are doing well. So today we will be continuing data representation and computer arithmetic and we will be seeing division of unsigned binary numbers and the first method we will be covering is restoring division algorithm. So the division is much more complex operation than multiplication. So given a dividend D and a divisor called V the quotient is Q and the remainder is R. So this following gets related something like this D equals to Q V plus R. Okay. So division involves like subtraction. Okay. So that needs to be binary subtraction that that must be cleared properly. So let us like uh, start the restoring division algorithm. So in restoring division algorithm here instead of shifting divisors shift of dividend to the left is done and it uses three n bit registers a m and q so a is the accumulator m is the divisor and q is the dividend so let us see the flow chart of it so i have already like copied it and made it so basically we'll start and here a is the accumulator so a is accumulator okay now m is divisor q is dividend and n is the number of bits so first we'll just do the arithmetic left shift okay then we'll perform the subtraction operation a equals to a minus m and now we'll check that bit that whether a is less than zero that is, that is negative or not so if it is negative or that a n minus 1 is 1 okay that is the same just the same so we'll set the q0 bit to 0 and we'll perform a equals to a of m this operation is known as restoring okay else and after after this it will just reduce the number of bits or no it will set the q0 to 1 okay and after this it will now again check whether n has reduced to 0 if not, then it will hold again, go to the left shift and it will start following here. So after it is done, after n is 0, yes, then it will, then the quotient that is left, q will be the quotient and the remainder is whatever that is stored in the accumulator is the remainder and finally it will end. So remainder. And I have also done the block diagram of restoring division algorithm. So basically we have the divisor that is n and n bit subtractor is used okay and it is stored in accumulator and by the control unit we are doing left shift operation and the q0 or the dividend bits are set according to that and this as a whole is like drawn so you can just like copy it down if you need to write it so I will be just now explaining with the help of an example so stay tuned so let us start so we need to divide 9 by using restoring division algorithm so first of all we need to find q so q is 9 and we'll write the binary representation of it so it is 1001 and m here is 2 okay and the binary representation of 4 in 4 bit we'll write and n is 4 and a we are setting it to 0 0 0 okay initially we are setting it to 0 0 0 so i am just writing the initial values here okay this is 1 0 0 1 and we have started from 4 okay so let's start so first we are doing step 1 okay so step 1 we'll just do the first we'll do the left shift so left shift of a and q so it will be 0 0 0 1 this one comes here and it will be 0 0 1 and this position will be vacant this will be 4 so we have done the left shift of a q okay now within this now we'll see now we'll perform a equals to a minus n the next step is this so we are performing a equals to a minus n so we'll just perform the subtraction so a is 0 0 0 1 and m is 0 0 1 0 okay 
so it will be one 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 okay so now we just place the value of one a here one 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 q will remain the same okay this will remain the same now we will just see the sign of a see the, since the sign of a is negative we will set q0 this bit as 0 ok so 0 0 1 0 ok and since the sign of bit has changed now we will perform the restoration so don't no need to like add a equals to a plus m just simply write what we have obtained in the first step so just copy this one and now just reduce the size of n equals to n minus 1 so we are I'm just writing for once sign of a we are checking that is negative okay and we are writing q0 that is 0 and we are performing restore operation okay restore so this was the first step we did it now we will do the second step so step 2 okay now we have 0 0 1 0 since you have done the right shift left shift so I am writing here left shift ok of a q now this will become 0 1 0 dash and let us read, read this now we perform a equals to a minus m ok so a is 0 0 1 0 it will be 0 0 1 0 so all will be 0 ok so 0 0 0 0 this will remain the same now we will see the sign of a so sign of a we can see is positive so a is positive so we will set q0 to 1 and we will just do the n equals to n minus 1 so this will remain the same now we will just set this bit to 1 and the size will change to 2 so now we perform the step 3 so step 3 so we we'll write the 0 0 0 0 we will perform the left shift so 1 0 1 ok this will be dash and this will be, so I am writing again left shift of A and Q I hope you are getting all of this now we will perform the subtraction A equals to A minus N so I am just quickly performing the subtraction so this will be 0 1 1 1 ok I, I know I hope that you know the binary subtraction properly so that won't be like very hard and we will see the sign of A so the sign of A is negative ok so the first bit is negative so just set the q0 so I am just writing A equals to negative q0 equals to 0 and we will perform the restore operation ok so what will be so just write what was in the previous and just place the value and just reduce it to 1 ok now we perform step 4 step 4 so it was 0 0 0 now the shift will occur so it will be 0 1 0 dash and dash so left shift of aq I'm writing aq now we'll perform subtraction a equals to a minus n so let us subtract it so this will be 1 1 1 1 all of this will be 1 1 1 and this will be the same now we will see the sign of a sign of a is negative again so q0 equals to 0 and just perform the restore operation ok so 0 0 0 1 this will be 0 1 0 0 and this will become 0 finally now after doing all of this just see that n has come to 0 now whatever the q will be so whatever the value of q is that is 0 0 1 0 0 this one this is the q and this is the remainder a we have set so q that is our quotient that is if you convert it in decimal it will be 4 and our remainder will be a so remainder a equals to 0 0 0 1 and 1 this will be 1 and if you just see our question was divide 9 by 2 so 9 divided by 2 will always give the remainder as 1 and the quotient as 4 
so this is how you perform division by no restoring division algorithm so if you have any problem just comment below and if you like the video hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel for more videos so thanks for watching it